Hey there! Is this rain the same water that's in our oceans and rivers? Let's find out. Water is always on the move. Rain falling today may have been water in an ocean far away, just days before. Water is in the atmosphere, on the land, in the ocean and underground. It moves from place to place through the water cycle, but our natural water cycle is changing as climate changes. So what is climate? And what does weather have to do with our water supplies? Weather is what you see outside over a few days. While climate describes the typical weather conditions in an entire region over a longer period of time. Let's check out the Australian climate zones. Tropical zone. Places like Cairns and Darwin. They're warm and humid for most of the year because they're closest to the equator. Subtropical zone. Places like Brisbane. Summers are hot and winters are mild. The temperate zone. Places like Melbourne and Hobart. They have distinct seasons. Cold short days in winter and long hot days in summer. So where do you live? And how does the climate affect your weather? The climate in Australia is changing as the temperatures have gotten hotter across the globe. Temperatures have warmed and although the Earth's climate has always changed, this time the warming is happening a lot faster than ever before. This is referred to as global warming and this is causing more extreme weather events like floods and droughts. So, can we look at what extreme weather events are? Too much rain has got to cause flooding, right? Although floods are a natural part of the water cycle, when they're severe, they can be dangerous, affecting people, animals, their homes and environment. There are three main ways floods can happen in Australia. Heavy rains cause rivers and creeks to burst their banks. Or heavy rain falls on hard surfaces. The ground can't absorb the water and the storm water drains can't cope. Or along the coast, ocean tides rise above normal sea levels during storm events. Flood facts. Floods are important to nature and animals. Floods help refill waterways, lakes or wetlands. Floods keep them from drying up and keep the ecosystem going. So, what about the opposite? What happens when there's no rain? Drought facts. Droughts are another type of severe weather event. They occur for lots of reasons too. If it doesn't rain for a long time or it's hotter than usual, water dries up fast, which means soil, rivers, dams and reservoirs can dry out. Less available water means plants have trouble growing and there'll be less food for animals to eat. Drought can also increase the risk of bushfires. So what I've learned is that all of this change to our climate is affecting our water cycle because it changes as our climate changes. There will only ever be a set amount of water on Earth and it moves from place to place through the water cycle and that's what helps our Earth to survive into the future. I'm gonna keep my eye on the weather a lot more closely from now on. How about you?